Hi friends, I hope you are doing well. Uh, today I am going to share the few set of the questions which were asked in uh, public sapiens coding test. So this these coding tests which I am going to share, I I have also given and I discussed with my friends, uh, four to five friends and same question they have asked. So I hope uh, until change, uh, if you are going to give for public segments, it would help you a lot to uh, crack the first coding round test. So first they have given, uh, this is the, uh, 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 first they have given so one CSP file. That CSP file is nothing but, uh, uh, not, CSP file is nothing but contain the uh, column like user ID, date, time and activity. So maybe uh, column name uh, may be different, but uh, I have created data and sharing the details to you. So it, it should be uh, uh, maybe a uh, uh, user ID and uh, column ID may be different. So they have given one uh, one uh, uh, CSP file on top of CSP file. I have to read and perform a few question whatever they have given. Three, co three question I have to complete on there and fourth question they have given for Python only. So uh, the uh, CSP file contain the user ID date time and activity means see this is the user id time uh, uh, date on this time add cart suppose i'm uh, uh, suppose i'm a uh, login uh, in flipkart or amazon so they i i saw, found that uh, this is the uh, item it is a uh, i i liked very much and i'm going to purchase that so like that add cart then pay, it will move to the page pay, uh, page payment then uh, payment done then it will go for segment uh, shipment confirmation like that uh, like that this was uh, the, uh, there so uh, this is the csv file i will share in the uh, uh, comment box these uh, 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 data details on there so now uh, now i'm going to start with the first question what they have asked so first question they have asked uh, ask load the data set from the activity data dot csp the uh, table name is this and print basic statistic of files like uh, record count number of user Filter out record if any incompatible data, list down user and count of each activity done by the user on each day. So uh, here I'm going to start here. So first, uh, 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 they have already instructed do not use SQL any other things. You have to use PySpark already. You have to score. So first I have uh, imported necessary libraries. Then I have created a Spark session and uh, then uh, I, I have added here for uh, your information how to you uh, read the particular file particular uh, that any location so i have read the file but i have already created a data frame so i'm going to use that one not going to use this uh, csp file okay for your information i have given here so uh, first they ask me to print the statistic record count and a distinct uh, uh, count distinct user id then i have printed this a uh, total record a uh, record count and unique user id on there then another uh, part is there uh, 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 remove incompatible uh, record dropping rows with null values so i have used this function df dot drop na and uh, clean df then i am going to use this clean df a uh, count activity performed by the user each day here clean df so i have grouped user id date and activity and uh, i have taken the count as a like alias activity count and or, uh, order by user id and date then i'm going to print activity count df so here so you can see that first total record this unique user is four you can check that one two three four unique user is four and then uh, every uh, then uh, another question count of activity performed by the each user so every user perform the different different activity you can see that uh, user id one add card page payment and shipment confirmation and uh, uh, user id two uh, add, uh, given a page payment add card only so this time uh, uh, the first question uh, i have done this way so first i have taken the record count means total record then unique user how many user 
then I have cleaned the data. If any null record on there, so it will remove. Then I have uh, taken the, the clean DF and performed the group by based on the user ID, data, and activity. And then I have taken the count as a, a name, given the name as an activity count. And then I have ordered by the user ID and data. And I have printed there. So now you can see that the answer here. Now, second question is very important. They have asked uh, one more uh, things here. Uh, they have asked so whatever answer I get, I got this this answer I got. I have to write in CSV file in their location. Whatever. So I have written. I have re, uh, write the uh, written the this activity. So this is the activity df dot count. This is my final uh, uh, data uh, data frame. I am going to use here uh, write mode this this like that okay now i'm going to now i'm going to start uh, 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 another, another question calculate total time each user spent throughout a day on a website app means second question there i have split it as a three so they asked calculate total time each user spent throughout a day on a website and hint calculate the difference between consecutive login and logout event for the same user. Can uh, you can use lag function? Ignore any uh, dangling dangling logging session. If two consecutive login and continue uh, count from the uh, latest to one on there. So first, what I have done here? First, I uh, uh, already I have created data frame. I'm going to use that data data frame first. So what I have done here, I have imported the necessary Windows function, uh, necessary Windows function uh, libraries like Windows type and function. Okay, and after that first activity, what I have done, convert date and time column to single timestamp column. Suppose this is my date and time column, date and date column. It contain if a uh, date and time column is there, a different different column. So what I will do, I will uh, I will do uh, here. Uh, I I will concatenate the date and time in one, okay, and create a one uh, a DF that, uh, that one one column that give the time stamp. Now define a window to partition by user ID and order by time stamp. So I will define the Windows function. I will do the partition based on user ID and order by time stamp. Then get previous activity and time stamp. Then what what will I do? I will use lag function to get the previous activity. Then with I will give the name as a previous activity app dot log dot activity dot over windows specific same way i able to take the uh, previous timestamp uh, using uh, 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 using lag function so once it is uh, once i got this then i will calculate uh, calculate the difference in second difference in second then i will calculate the difference in second so here i will do i will write i will add one more column time is spent and here i will perform the some case statement when f dot call previous activity equal to page payment and f dot call activity equal to shipment confirmation shipment confirmation or uh, 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 one minute yeah huh. or comma uh, time stamp uh, dot long uh, uh, minus app dot call previous time stamp then what will happen uh, then cost long then otherwise none so i have written this uh, code here after that i will do the sum the valid time difference from each user so i will go uh, i will uh, uh, perform the group by based on user id dot x sum time is spent whatever column is there i will give the alias total time is spent on there now i am going to print the result df the uh, df uh, reprint the result now i will get the result like here you can see that user id 1 1800 seconds user 2 it, like this it will give the uh, output now another uh, now it will give the like this output uh, okay what that so another question they asked so uh, suppose user uh, who added something in cart add cart but never made payment but never made payment page payment call it as no payment who user did payment but didn't did not get any shipment confirmation write as a shipment confirmation then you have to write uh, call it no shipment Okay, so I have to write the uh, function to get the this like activity. Okay, so now what I have done, I have uh, import necessary function uh, uh, import module. So like uh, 
function and uh, produces function and then i have created a spark session then uh, whatever data frame i have created on the top of the data frame i will check first trim column names suppose any column contain the space value so i am going to trim on there so uh, after that what will i do i will do uh, ensure column name match exactly uh, 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 column name match exactly then i will uh, 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 i will go for that so uh, i will perform the activity column like activity i will change this is if your name has different on there so like this i will define then i will group the data by user id and collect all activity uh, as a set so i will what will do i will uh, use uh, I did same data frame ever data frame then i group by user id and then i will perform the one aggregation function collect set and i, I will call the activity call dot alias this like this whatever this one activity i have defined based on this i will create a uh, I, I will create a uh, one data set so after done this then i will define condition uh, conditions for classification user array content so what will i do i will write a con uh, uh, classified user user activity with column i will give the status when array condition this add cart and this page payment no payment then when like uh, uh, then i will uh, so, suppose uh, uh, this way uh, uh, when array con uh, contain call activity that add cart and if Eric does not contain the page payment, then uh, does not contain the page payment, then no page payment on done. So uh, same way I have done here. When Eric condition is activity is equal to page payment and uh, shipment not done, shipment not done, shipment not done, then I will give the no shipment done. Otherwise completed. So after the, once it will uh, uh, it, it, this data frame created after that i will perform the select statement user id and status whatever i have created and i have to i have print this so you can see that uh, user once completed uh, user two no shipment user three completed user four no shipment on there i got the answer this one now another question they have asked on, over python write a function com uh, co compress a string that is compress a string using counts of repeated character if the compressed string is not smaller than the original string return the original so out suppose i have a, this string output should be a a two time b two times c three times now a b c d e f a b c d uh, a b c d e f uh, we do we check we can check that here it uh, it is given the same because since compression is not is smaller com uh, compression is not uh, smaller same way it is also giving here same way is not uh, not this is also not smaller case sense this is a case sense too. that's why it is giving this like now you can see that here it is it will work like that so i'm going to perform first what what can i do i will create a function that function uh, name as a compressed string and i will create a one uh, uh, i will define a one variable uh, empty variable uh, string i will find one empty string then count one equal to one if, then i will perform the loop for one in a range one comma length of yes whatever give parameter i'm going to give here if yes uh, yes uh, uh, i equal to uh, yes i minus one then count plus equal to one it will increase the count count consecutive character it will count consecutive character else compressed dot append compressed dot append yes i minus one plus star uh, 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 sorry string count count if count is greater than one else yes i minus one then count equal to one then after the comp after compress uh, uh, then what will I, uh, uh, what will do append the last character append the last characters characters since the loop is stop before the last group so what we uh, uh, here compressed dot uh, compressed dot append s minus one like this plus star means uh, uh, if con like is uh, plus string count if count greater uh, than one else yes minus one okay then i i have joined the both results uh, results whatever uh, from here and it will get and after that i will return the uh, this compressed star if length compressed star is great, less than length original length uh, uh, i will pre, I, I will give the compressed star uh, I, I will return this uh, uh, result set when 
I will check the uh, this uh, length of this. If length is less than the original uh, string length, is original string on there? Then I have passed this parameter. So uh, then I pass this parameter. So uh, I think you, if you do the practice of these question, you definitely uh, crack the first round of the interview of public sapient. So I hope you are doing well. Uh, uh, for the, these comments, I am going to stop the recording and I am requesting you to please like and subscribe my channel. Keep following, keep share my videos and ask your friend to subscribe my channel.